that's probably gonna be my uh, number one goal for today because I'm not seeing what I'm in and, and Thursday and I haven't been that great TBLT TBLT oh that's a good one okay watching TBLT first daily to make a new high 525 TBLT TBLT that's a good one watching TBLT TBLT has news TBLT watching 830 was the news yesterday's high was 522 522 518 was the high TBLT 518 is the high TBLT 518 is the high planning to go long at 520 I took some long at 520 there I took some long small 520 watching first daily to make a new high TBLT that's a great news there. I'm long TBLT. At um, five, is it gonna reject? Five twenty. I'm long. I'm long TBLT. Let's see it break yesterday's high. Yesterday's high is five eighteen. Let's see it go news that it launches 35 production I'm long 520 go go break might stop it's 510 is it gonna reject first daily to make a new high there has news First daily to make a new high is 520. Is this going to reject or just keep going? I think it's going to keep going. Look at that. TBLT. TBLT. I'm long. 520. 520, I'm long. My target is 550. Uh, small size. I'm playing cautiously today because it's Thursday, so I'm long at 520. I'm playing cautiously again. So I'm long at 520. Look at that. That looks good. Give me 550 and I'm out. 550, 560, that would be great. We broke to 520. I'm in the green right now. Stop loss is 520. Look at that. 532, 533. All right. That's only on 2,000 shares. I only bought 2,000 shares. Give me 550 and I'm out. 550. I want 550. Look at that. That is just killer. Look at that. Look at that first green day to make a new high. Look at that, 540, what's that high there? 545, give me five, 550, 545, I'm selling half. 545, I'm selling half. Look at that, look at that, look at that, that's just killer. First daily to make a new high is 518. That's a setup I teach in my, um, I, I have, this is first daily to make a new high here. That's a setup I teach in my member library. You can see that yesterday's high was 519. So you buy it as soon as it breaks the daily high. And then you hold it with a break even stop loss. And it also has news. And TBLT is also a low float. You can see here how agreement, huge money, it's the stores, 55,000 Ace hardware location, 35 products. I mean, the only thing I regret is not buying more. About 2,000 shares, I guess I could, you know, if I'm down 10, 20 cents, um, you know, I could, you know, I, I, I like it. So now we just broke to 520. Uh, we're looking for 520 to hold on this dip. And then push over 540, where I'm going to take partial gains. So now if 520 doesn't hold, I'm going to get stopped out. Which I think is going to hold. I'm pretty sure it's that 520 is going to hold. They're going to look at this and they're going to eat it like white on rice. 
and there we go let's get a nice candle here over 540 let's get a nice candle over 540 look at that 540 538 538 544 <laughs> oh my god my numbers are good today <laughs> my numbers are good today 544 selling half over 544 TBLT Five, selling half 548 548 548 on the ask to sell half sold half sold the other half great awesome all out of 556 that's a $640 winner all right <laughs> That's a great trade. That's a great trade. That's a great trade. That's a that's a thirty cent winner. That's about a five percent winner there. Look at that. Five twenty. Five twenty long. Five fifty five exit. First first daily to make a new high. Five eighteen. Awesome. Awesome. That puts me up uh, seventeen hundred dollars on the day. I'm in. I'm. 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 I'm trading uh, correctly today. Look at that. That is killer. Hope you guys grab some of that first daily to make a new high. That is a strategy I have. I'm probably gonna put that in um, the strategy review. This is a strategy that I have. Um, strategy review videos. First daily to make a new high. This is a strategy. First daily to make a new high. There you go. If you look at the strategy review video, is first green day bounce. That's what it is. So you, you can see all my examples of for, first green day bounce. That means you can see and you can go through uh, examples here. First green day bounce. That's a strategy. I'm going to add this stock to first green day bounce because you can see that it sold off from like 927 down to 4 and then release news and you have first green day bounce this has been the bounce obviously I didn't buy it when I should have over here but I bought it when it first it made a first green day it broke yesterday's high so that's a setup I would always take 9 out of 10 times you can see here that yesterday's high was 518 so you buy it when it makes a new high over yesterday's high so I bought it at 518, sold it at 555, and that's you know 30 cent gain, 30 per 30 cent gain there, and who knows, could go to six bucks today. So I'm just trading it with 2,000 shares. I'm not even trading it with. I only use 2,000 shares to make 600 bucks. So I'm not I'm not trading it with like a zillion amount of money. Thank you, John. TBLT, I'm rocking it out here. Uh, 560, there's the high. So that's a setup. I'm probably going to chop this video up and put this setup um, uh, on, the, on the strategy review videos. Because I made a lot of money on first green day bounce. And I have a lot of gap and go, gap up short, parabolic low floater, uh, uh, that is the, that is the first green day bounce. And you can go through millions of examples here, so you kind of understand ELED. what you're doing. Uh, but that was a that was a great trade because you know I bought it like five twenty. Could have get it in like five ten. That's an easy ten percent gain in just in just you know three five ten minutes. So I'm looking. Looks like. And you can go through all those uh, examples. So as I live stream this information, I just chop out my little pieces of um, of stocks moving, and I just upload them to the to the server, and I chop it out an easy breakdown of my trades. So that was a great trade. So now you have yourself a coffee, a tea, and say get a haircut, and. Um, and uh, get yourself some sushi. And uh, that's how the cookie crumbles today. Today's 
has been surprisingly well. So the sale ends in about three, four days. And that's about it. Looks like today's been a good day. So I so I'm ordering this microphone here that's a pretty nice microphone. It's the M7 MV7 podcast kit. It's gonna be a really nice uh, better microphone. This microphone is like a hundred dollars. So I'm gonna get a professional microphone. Thank you, John, on TBLT. Hope you guys made money on that. It has it has great news. You can see here the news was killer. There we go. There's the news. TBLT launches 35 products at 55 5500 hardware locations. So you know that's gonna get some volume. Um, watching BTTX, but I'm not too bullish on it. I'm just gonna leave that alone. I'm gonna leave BTTX alone. I'm gonna be watching this TBLT whether this thing is gonna give me any more range. Let's see. E Lev. What's E Lev? Well, you gotta jump on it like white on rice. I jump on this one like white on rice. It was like second nature. First daily to make a new high on news. And it's a pass runner stock. It's a two milli float. First green day to make a new high. And I sold it. Made 35 cents a share. Bought at 520. Sold 556. And uh, that was the trade. Jack. And now I'm just watching this uh, daily, daily, daily high here. Jack, Jack's the price is too high. I'm going to skip on that. So you got to, it takes extreme studying to, to get to know what you're doing. It could go, this TBLT thing could bounce to 550 if I were going to say. I don't really know how high this thing is going to go, but it definitely has room considering it's the first green day bounce. And uh, so now we broke through 520 and we came back down to 525 on that candle. So I could have technically relonged that dip there at 530. I always... I always sell these first green day bounce too soon. If I look in my history, I could have bought that dip there at 530. But I'm just I'm just hesitant. It's like Thursdays, you know. I'm just hesitating. It's like Thursdays. My Thursdays haven't been that great. Uh, look at that 550. Look at that. That's just killer. I, I, I should have bought that dip at 530 now that I think about it. Look at that 550. Why didn't I buy the dip? I should have bought that dip. 550. Why didn't I buy the dip? 555. Uh, man, I'm feeling FOMO now. 560. I don't know. If I were going to buy 560, it's going to probably be with small size. I'm just hesitant today because it's Thursdays, and it's it's up from like four dollars. I don't know, like it's up from four dollars. We're in the five fifty range, so I mean it could go higher. It's just it's just how much higher it can go higher, no doubt. On that news, thirty five products in five. I mean that's that's a killer news. I mean you know that's a killer news. Tough Build Industry launches 35 products in 5,500 Ace Hardware locations. That's a lot of hardware locations. So, uh, that's a lot of that's a lot of hardware location. It's like you know, it's like you're launching 35 products of all warm all WalMarts. You know, how many WalMarts are there in the United States? Uh, hardware. Ace Hardware is it's a very known company. Ace Hardware Store is a very known company in the United States. Ace Hardware. Ace Hardware. 
Oh, there it is. I, I have I have Ace hardware everywhere. So so technically I should buy more. Let's see the five 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 sixty break. It's gonna break five sixty. I mean who hasn't known five sixty? Took some long. T B L T. Five small. Five fifty eight long. I'm just scalping it for ten cents. Uh, I'm just scalping it for ten cents. I have I have preset sell orders. Five fifty eight. I'm just trying to get ten cents out of this. I'm just uh, there. We go. There we go. There we go. My sell is five sixty eight. I'm just trying to make another hundred dollars. I'm buying that high and selling it for ten cents. Five fifty sixty six. I'm just trying to get ten cents. Yeah, the, the high was. What was that high there? Five sixty eight. Was it five sixty eight? I'm curl. I read long bit. I took another ten cents. I, I bought a thousand shares at five fifty eight. I'm gonna sell it for another 10 cents, 10 cent gain. My exit is 568, my buy is 558. And and I should get filled here as we go into 568. TBLT. There we go, I just sold it, made another $100. That was a good trade. I should have, uh, I should have bought the dip. And not bought the. Uh, you can see here. I should have bought that dip there at 540, and not chase you get at 558 and sell 568. I should have bought that dip. I mean, Ace Hardware Store, man. Everybody knows about Ace Hardware Store. It, I would not be surprised if this hit six dollars. I'm trading very conservative today. I'm 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 trading. I mean, have you you know Ace Hardware? It's a big company. If you're not from the United States, it's a big company. This is a big company. Uh, this is a big company. This is not. This is like Walmart. So they have a product in which they have 35 products put into this company. So it's gonna get a lot of attention. Uh, so I don't know. It's like it's like care for in Europe. Care for is everywhere. I mean, not everywhere. It's like I don't know, Douglas, Doflan. I don't know, whatever you have in Europe. It's a really big company. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm gonna walk. It's about nine o'clock. I don't want to be stuck in a chop feast um, right now. Should have bought that dip and not bought it at 558 and sold 568. I'm feeling I'm feeling just a bit, you know, I, I feel like I left a lot of money on the table. I'm think I'm thinking I'm leaving the money on the table on TBLT. Because this could go to six. And I'm just feeling like I'm leaving money on the table. So but I don't wanna I don't wanna play with my luck here either so it's better to leave money on the table and leave early than just you know chase falling knives here because this could break 568 here and we could just spike through 590 here look at that because the next the next resistance is 590 look at that but you're definitely chasing it 520 was the buy 560 was the exit or 580 anything over 10% is good exactly better to walk green than to just hang around here and uh, give a uh, better walk before you get a haircut yeah I could buy this 570 and it could just plunge to 540 so so I'm just not gonna take take that trade anymore I'm just gonna pass. 
I saw a predictable move. Anyway, this trade is going to be uploaded to first a Green Day Bounce. Uh, I'm actually going to split the video in two. Today we had two setups here, which is um, this is buy the pre market new high. That was it. This is the buy the pre market new high of BTTX, a low float. And um, this stock was buy the first green day to make a new high on news. So this video is going to be split up in like two sections. What is it, 9 o'clock? I'm just going to watch my high of the day. Currently up $1,800, $1,830. And, uh, and I'm surprised. Today I traded actually well. Today I actually traded well. Despite the fact that for a long time, like if you look at my trades, I traded really crappy. Like if you look at my trades over on Thursday and Friday, I was just... I was just 500, 800, 90, negative 2K. It's just, I've not been uh, consistent. And then Friday, I, I haven't had any good trades on Friday. So I'm just, you know, I'm just balancing out my, my trading. You, you have to come in, do your best for three hours each day. You know, put your, put your trades in a spreadsheet you know screen and then review them over the weekend and you come in the next week and you, you do better next week and you keep doing that and next thing you know after a year you'll get the lambo <laughs> that's really how it is <laughs> you, you might have very low miles you might be chubbier or fatter <laughs> but you'll still have the lambo you might have nowhere to go with the lambo and you might have a lot of MV people on you looking at your Lambo and you might not have time to drive the Lambo except one time to just put your uh, make your reels and do your you know advertisement I I've been looking at the guys that post on Instagram about their Lambos and their Ferraris and I'm like how many times a year do you drive it you just drive it take a picture and then you go back to work <laughs> Do you, really, do you really think like these people that have the Lambo and the Ferrari, they even get to enjoy it? I mean, they, they put it over the weekend. They take their picture with it. They take their girls out and then that's it. And that's the end of it. <laughs> then you come back to work. Because if you don't keep doing this, the market changes. I mean, this strategy that I'm doing now, most of my trading is in the pre-market. It could change. They, they could might not even move it in the pre-market anymore. They could just, it could be dead empty in the pre-market. And then in the middle of the day, you have 200% movers. But I'm not seeing it go away anytime soon. These, what I've been noticing is just a big chop fest ever since 1030 peps around. And the only one stock moving. That's what I've been noticing. So I have to adapt to what is. And I'm $1,830 very much adapted today. So. So that's what. So I should have taken that long. That's a good long. That's a good long setup. To buy at 536. To sell at 560. That's a good. I'm not good at buying these downtrend breaks. I'm not good at these. Because I just don't know. I'm not good at buying these. I, I like buying new high of the day breakout, which was a successful one because I bought it at 558, sold 568. But I'm still, I was still flirting with, and I bought it on low size. But I'm still flirting with, I bought here, sold here, and then I bought it again here and sold it here. So, you know, I'm still, uh, I'm adjusting my expectations. The higher it goes, the less size I use. So, it's about 9 o'clock, it's Thursdays, and, uh, and I'm waiting for a new microphone, because this microphone on my phone is just not that great. I'm getting the MV7 podcast kit. I don't know, I, I never really wanted to be a podcaster. I'm not really into being famous. 
being famous was not something I wanted to do in this life. I wanted to make money. I knew I wanted to make money, but being famous is not something on my list. I don't, I'm not really interested in becoming popular. I don't really want to be on TV. I don't know. I never really, I never chased fame. I basically was a black sheep all the time. All the time I was like the black sheep. I never conformed to what anybody said to me at all. That's why I really like the Buddhism thing. It's like, in the Buddhism thing, it's like, yo, you know, pra practice detachment. Detach yourself from other people that, you, you know, and problems, you know. Be in Zen mode. I really like it. And then, and then, and then the Buddhist guy asked you, it's like, did this help you? Yeah, yeah, it did. Is it a religion? No, it's just the just is it just it, it helped me and I don't know. I, I took something from the Buddhism. That was pretty good. So I'm always like a black sheep. I always I always did my own thing. Sometimes I felt miserably. But it, it's it's becoming pretty good here. And sometimes I succeeded. So it's always good to test out your potential. And uh, see how you, well you do. I, I definitely do not recommend you watching television and playing video games and getting brainwashed with what other people want of you and become a slave to this system and inflation and depression and all this. I definitely do not recommend you that. I think books, reading audible books have been helping a lot. Those, are, those keep your soul intact and uh, keeps you from, uh, keeps you giving you fresh ideas. So it's 9.03 a.m. It's Thursday. My, 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 my day of I'm not performing very well. I have no trades. I'm up 18.30 on the day and I'm just hungry. And I'm just waiting to for something else to move or I'm just gonna close it up and leave. And then I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and start again. Uh, let's see. Go VX. Go VX first daily to make a new high is two of six. Geo VX does have news. Uh, announces peer review publication. I don't know if I'm gonna buy that. I don't know. I'm watching it. I'm seeing it. It does have news. I'm gonna watch it. Go VX. I'm watching it. I see it. I see it, but I'm not really interested in it that much. Uh, the, the first daily to make a new high is 206. I'm putting it on my scanner. I'm, I'm judging Geo VX. It does have news. The news is, I don't know. It's, it's just seems like it moved a very far away here it's just a uh, review publication of vaccine data vaccine candidate against with single immunization so the biotech company that was developing human vaccines uh i don't know i don't know i think i'm going to pass but i'm definitely going to watch it if this thing uh just this go vx go vx is the 12 million flow so it's more on the high side so if this breaks 206 i guess it's gonna do 230 it's just i don't think i don't know how much how much um how much meat on the bone is in this one i'm not i'm watching it i see it i see that it has news but i'm not embracing i'm not excited i'm i'm watching it but maybe GLVX. If, maybe if it breaks two dollars i'll i'll take some long i guess it's just stalling there i think i'm going to pass if i were gonna say first daily to make a new high is 206 so if it broke 206 which is way over here uh, it has a long way to go till we get there a long way to go so it traveled from 160 to break 206 to 240 do i really think it has it in it i don't know 
peer review publication, vaccine clinical data with a single immunization. I don't know. I think I'm going to pass. I'll watch it though. Definitely interesting if this gets over to a six, but other than that, I'm just going to pass. I'm just going to pass. I'll watch it though. TTTX, TVLT. TVLT watching TVLT. I think I think TVLT has more meat on the bone for some reason than I do GOVX. GOVX is like 12 milli flow. I'm not really in Geo. I'm not really in uh, GOVX that much. I mean TVLT is much better. TVLT and BTTX are much better uh, scenarios. All right, 910. 910. Let's see how this thing works. So you can see how valuable my pre-market uh, scanner is here, which I have here. This this is this pre-market scanner, which you get part of your membership. You can just plug and play, and you can find out what my settings are for pre-market scanner and what I look for. And, uh, you know, I mean, these are... This is this is a five hundred dollar, uh, you know some some other services charge five hundred dollars just for the scanner, you get it included. Uh, you know what kind of settings I have in my trade ideas, to help you out doing the pre market. You need money to trade. You need money to learn how to trade. You need money to eat. You need money for the scanner. You need money for the uh for for your setup you need to be experienced i mean trading is a very lose 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 situation for years at a time uh, but but then you become like a sniper like me i'm the sniper the sniper just they just they just sits trades and if this go vx goes over 195 I think I might take it long watching you. I'm. I might. <coughs> Should I? Should I take that long over 195? It does have news, but then again, it has a long way to go till 206. I'll watch it if it goes over 195. I'll watch it if it goes over 195. 194. Go VX. I'll watch it, I guess. I I don't know if I should or not. I'm not feeling it. I'm liking the 195 break. It could go to 205, but it's just it already spiked a lot from 165 to to. I mean, if I buy it at 195, would 190 stop? Could go to 205. That would be 20 cents. But. Do I really want to get in it? Am I really feeling the price action? It tried to push there and it kind of got rejected. This candle is an indecision candle. So people are not excited about it. But I see it though. I see it but I'm not sure. If it breaks 195, I could potentially say I could take it with a 190 risk and risk like $200 and try to make 40, 20 cents a share. But based on this candle here, it seems like a indecision candle because it. Seems like an indecision candle. and then it dies. Yeah, this doesn't look that good. I'm just going to pass. Oh, uh, TBLT, Ace Hardware Store. Uh, I'm just going to pass. If it's nothing moving, I'm just going to walk. <clears throat>
So let's um <clears throat> Uh, TBLT bounce off VWAP. That's that's kind of expected. So they're holding this one. I think this one has might have room till six, six six fifty. I don't know. They're squeezing the start out of a shorts here. So so they're probably so we have a bunch of shorts here, and uh, we have a kind of a dead cat bounce. So it's probably gonna bounce and die off. This TBLT thing. So, so we'll see if this gets going or not. I like how it bounced off VWAP. 535 is a good uh, area of support. So this could go to five, 580, I suspect. If this gets going over this, um, let's see, 555 is that top there. Maybe we're going to break 555 and f go straight to 570. That's possible. But I'm just getting tired, I think. I'm just getting tired a bit. So I'm going to walk while I'm ahead. <clears throat> it's possible this thing will break 555 and just go to 570. I mean, Ace Hardware is a good store. <coughs> when people are going to see this news, they're just going to jump on it a little sooner than better and tblt is a two milli float so it's a very tiny float so i would not try to short this at any time it's, it trades very thinly it trades 555 there it is so if that so 555 broke we just made another one minute high there does it go to 570 you can see how this high here broke this high here so I don't know So if that breaks 560, do we just squeeze over highs? That would be the question here. Five sixty now. Five sixty one. It's trying to go towards look at that. That was a predictable ten cents. Five fifty five to five sixty five and it's potentially gonna go towards five seventy. Look at that. That is nice. So, and and was that 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 would have been a nice long, five fifty five entry. That looks good to me. Now the bids are holding. Five sixty bids are holding. Look at that. That is just pleasant to see. Looks like they're just eating that ask. The Ace Hardware Store. Look at that. We're just breaking through highs there. 565. 
Yeah, that would have been a nice 10 cents. 555 entry, 565 exit, and it has potential to go over 580 now. Definitely nice. Cause you got you got this one minute setup here break, and then you have this setup of 570. So that was that would have been a nice trade. So I'm going to walk. I think I'm done. I'm done. I'm just, I'm just uh, one two hundred dollars below my two k average day, and that's that's kind of like that's kind of what the metrics I have been doing. So I'm just leaving, leaving before it gets miserable, cause I don't like miserable. And plus, I have to go do some errands today. And Thursday is my worst performing day. Thursdays and Friday, I don't know. It's just... So I'm going to take my... Uh, profits and move out. Let's see. Today is the... 7, 28, 22. Great trading, I think. Two hours work, up eighteen hundred dollars. Good deal. TBLT. TBLT now made a new high there. So I'm gonna walk while I'm ahead. And uh, look at that. Made made. So I was right to buy it here. Five fifty five sold. Five sixty five. You could get that with two thousand shares or one thousand share. Make a quick hundred, two hundred dollars on that. That would have been a nice trade, but. I'm ahead. I want to eat breakfast. I've been trading for two and a half hours. Uh, and I'm done. Uh, what's up, traders? Uh, finishing up the day. Up 18.30. Took two trades today. And um, I'm going to walk while I'm ahead. Thursday were not, are not my most uh, productive trades, I would have to say. If I look at my trades here. Um, Thursday I never finished over 1k and then I have losses so Thursday is definitely challenging for me so I did I did see the you know there when I woke up this morning I saw like five tickers that are just they just sucked and uh, the only treat the the trade that I did great on was uh, buying um, BTTX this morning so BTTX had news after I saw like five tickers you know uh, you had uh, the, the daily is kind of crappy because the resistance here is 236 and uh, you know 52 week high so we we're, we're brushing against this daily this daily and this daily so I, I didn't have great expectations of BTTX uh, it, it did have news here this morning I don't remember the pivotal uh, positive endpoints results which is pretty three out of four stars uh, BTTX uh, seven milli flow Nova. and um, and I was buying it in this as I see this one I was looking at it dressed right at the morning as I was streaming and then I was like bam here and then I bought it at like two or five and uh, pretty much took a very consistent 20 cents a share two or five and then I sold it 224 it was a great trade and then I sold it in two this trade 226 over here and two candles took about two minutes i could have held it longer i could have sold half i wasn't really excited i should have sold the other half in like 235 area i think just looking at the daily resistance there 235 because it you know and i could have bought the first one minute to make a new high at 222 and i could have rebought it on the downtrend break but but i just i just looked at like five tickers and most of them suck so I took, I, I tried to rebuy it with, sec, with second size again at BTTX with 2K instead of 6K and then I sold it and I lost. My my other trade was TBLT today. TBLT was first first day to make a new high here. TBLT. TBLT's first day to make a new high. The stock release news was on my pre-market scanner gap top straight into the daily high here of yesterday's daily high of 518 
I bought that break 518, sold into 555, bought it again, sold it again, and now I, I technically could have bought it around VWAP, 535, 560, but I just didn't want to overstay my welcome. If I look at the pre-market gainers, those are the only two movers that I saw so far. I traded both of them. I took about, you know, 50% of their move. I traded very conservative and... Uh, and I made my daily quota, and it's 9.29, and you guys enjoy. Anyway, so that will be it for me. I don't want to mess around with these algos on Thursdays. TBLT could go to 6, no doubt about it. And uh, I, just, um, I just took my predictable 30 cents a share here. Um, I I, sh I could have possibly made I could have possibly held another half here because it could go to six. I mean, Ace Hardware Store is a good um, is, is a good uh, good uh, Nova. You know, news, but I just um, I'm not feeling it. I don't want to risk it. I had two movers, made money on both of them, and uh, I just. Took my predictable 10% there, 5% there. So actually, actually, I, I could have made a bit more on this one on uh, BTTX. BTTX gave a predictable 30% because uh, if I were going to buy it at $2 and held it at 260 it gave a predictable 30% 30, <clears throat> 30 gain here if I just held for a little longer. But you know, I just wasn't feeling comfortable about this chart. I wasn't feeling comfortable. It's Thursday. I wasn't feeling comfortable. There was a lot of people in the chat. And uh, it just, I just felt this extra little pressure there. So I took it off sooner. I tried to rebuy it. And then um, it ended up working if I rebought it again here. I just was not... Uh, I didn't feel confident about these plays. Because, uh, um, you know, you, you, you have a lot of folding knives. If I looked at my top gainer here... Uh, this morning uh, Jack you, you have a lot of fluffy sketchy companies just gapping up going nowhere so so I had like I had like four out of five stocks that I looked at I had to dodge bullets and that comes from my experience in looking and tracking my trades and my losses and avoiding those and I took the ones that worked out and hell, this TBLT could go to 6 for all I know. It could break 571 because that's the pre-market high. It could, it, could, it could just break through 570 and hit towards 6 at the open because people are, you know, this is the most exciting stock for people right now. Uh, so you have a pre-market high break of 570. We have about 6 minutes till the market opens. But, you know, if I took this trade... I, think, I bought it if I buy it at like five five seventy and sell it five six dollars that would probably be a good trade five seventy yeah, there we go it's going but as we get closer to the open I just get cold feet I don't know why is it there we go five eighty it's going to six dollars yeah it's going six dollars so and then it flush see this is what I'm talking about this is why I lock it up see you see that you see that look at that 570 to 581 and then and then we have a very much indecision candle flush there look at that that's that's just not i mean you're 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 uh, flirting with falling knives here this is a this is a kind of a fake out here i mean we're you're you're playing with fire if you're trading this thing so as the higher the thing goes, the the less the less size you're gonna you're gonna need to. This is it. Look at it. Look at that indecision candle. So I'm just I'm just feeling just. I'm just uh, I, I I like to buy it when it makes the first daily to make a new high, and that's the setup I teach. And I have setups, and um, over here is just <clears throat> you're playing with fire. It's already up from 520 to 570. It's already made 50 cents, 50 cents a share. So buying it here is just gonna be, you're you're very close to the top. But then again, it just keeps going. Make sure you give this video a like, uh, subscribe to my uh, 
to my uh, stuff here because these prices are going to go up in price. Two days, 14 hours, 13 minutes. It's only 200 for um, for six months to get all my knowledge. Uh, this is already been going through all this. Nova. And uh, that's about it. And I'm just a little a little scared if this is gonna hit six dollars or not. I think it's gonna get hit six dollars. Do I know it's gonna hit six dollars? I just don't know. So I'm, I, just, I just took my predictable gain. It goes to six dollars, doesn't it? There you go. It's going. So I'll leave it as that. I'm going to walk. I'm gonna see if this this gaps up to six thirty now. Just for the just for the there we go five ninety, very nice. Congratulations if you took this trade. Um, I hope you guys made money. I sure did. I could have rebought it. I was thinking of buying it here, rebuying it here five fifty. Thought about buying it here too. Look at that, it hit six dollars. Good work. So I'm leaving money on the table today. But I'm definitely very good at my executions. I'm definitely good at good at my entries. My entries have been spot on with with these things, but my exits, I'm just, um, I'm just, I'm just not. My exits haven't been that great. So it's always good to leave money on the table then, um, then to you know have a nice flush. So I'm, I'm impressed. Five ninety seven on that candle, pretty good. We got one minute till open. So it hit six dollars. I was thinking it'll do six dollars, just based on the Ace Hardware news. Ace is a pretty big company, and this is a micro float of two million shares. So, congratulations if you took this trade. And we're just gonna Nova. We're just gonna hang around here for like another five minutes, see how high this thing goes before it's probably gonna reject. And. Uh, And uh, we have about one minute to go. 10, 50, 40. Nova. And I'm already, um, I'm already out for the day. That is, this has been a great trade, trading day. Despite the fact that my Thursdays are terrible. Very low stress. And very uh, straight to the point. And I didn't keep, I didn't put myself in trouble. And I didn't chase things. Pretty, pretty staying pretty disciplined and not hanging around during the chop feast so that hit about a high of six dollars congratulations uh, and we're gonna wake up tomorrow and do it again and uh, Nova. that's kind of how it is all right BTTXI six dollars hit there. Let's see how. Let's see if it actually if it actually goes over six dollars. I just want to see if it does. Jack. Uh, does it go over six dollars? Repu. How high does it go over six dollars? That's what I want to know. Is it gonna go to six dollars and just die off, or just go to six fifty? I just I just want to make a mental note how high this thing go went for my five twenty. Uh, entry my entries are spot on I just want to know if this thing is gonna go to 650 or just die off I think it's gonna go red TBLT 590 is the 5 594 is the low of this candle Look at that, two million in candle there. Two million, two million on the one minute. I'm impressed. Does it go to six fifty? I'm impressed. Six thirty there. Congratulations if you took advantage of it. I um, I'm working on um, you know, maybe I should have left a bit Jack. In, in there. Avco. I I definitely should have left a little bit in there. Thanks for the TBLT idea. Welcome. Hope you guys made money. I'm Audi. Uh, looks like it hit 529. I'm Audi. 
529. Good luck out there. See you guys tomorrow live stream. Subscribe to my channel and like, comment, subscribe. See you tomorrow on 7. And don't forget to sign up to my website. Link in the comment description below. See you.